going to come straight back in. Out of bounds on the full. Joe Mercedes has the ball. 65 metres out on the boundary line. Southern stand side of the MCG. The Bombers are three. Carlton the one. He goes short looking for Peverell who got away from Camparelli. Camparelli kicked it in initially, Eddie, and put it over the line. So that was unforgivable. And then was slow to find Damien Preville on that occasion. So... Both sides, pretty ordinary start and opening to this game. Peverell's got that big cast on his arm, courtesy of his arm being broken on Anzac Day. Got kicked by Steve McKee. Comes in from 50. Lovely left foot kick, this one. All needs is the distance. It's got the lock. It's a goal, and the Bombers lead by eight points. Ball up. The Blues, Camparelli, Mark Johnson. Handball. He knew Mercedes was there and coming. Mercedes did it well. Delivery. Salmon on the march, backhanded knock, Moorcroft. Been very good up forward so far in the game, providing opportunities. Lloyd good worked good to the front, and he'll kick it from the edge of the goal square. But uh, needless to say, Lloyd has to kick quite a few today. Here he is, perfect conditions. MCG's at the punt road end. He's got 15 metres to travel, and there is a very good look at what confronts him. Not much. Nailed it. Matthew Lloyd got the bomber's second goal. He is. He's prepared to let others go to the goal. He's always been like that unselfish Matthew Lloyd. I just wish she had told us before the sweep started. Eighth disposal. <laughs> the kick coming in there from Bolton was off the side of the boot. It might come off anyway and does because yeah. Big Hill is one of the most courageous flyers for a mark in football, the young fella. Yeah. And he is selfish. Eddie picks me up on that weekly. <laughs> and he will push out of the square. I mean, that's a fair effort from a Coleman medalist, Jewel. 100 goals a season player. Yeah, that's why they play in premierships, these guys, in grand finals. Hill comes in, he's kicked 10-10, make it 11-10 for season 2002. He had one, did he? <laughs> Hurd comes in, frees a 4-1 Essendon's way. He mishit it, uh, James Hurd, but it's going to come to guess who? Moorcroft, this time on the left boot. He kicks to Ford's full forward, and Lloyd is a superstar. He kicks his second. Hunt and half back stops, props. He waits for something to transpire. Thinks he can drill the pass a long way, and he did. The length of the square and found Carousella beautifully. Carousella centering ball. Barnard, who's got a bit of it forward of the 50. And he's right on the edge of the square, as you can see. Kick in board. Lloyd on the lead. Marks on the chest, which meant he knew he had his defensive man covered, didn't have to mark it in the hands. Once the Bombers got the ball pushed back as the spare player in the hole, as uh, obviously played with courage and a bit of height, um, and the Bombers saw that and they worked it around very well. Matthew Lloyd, four marks, has kicked two goals, and if he kicks this, we may have to release the sweet details in the box. He's nailed it. <laughs> Lloyd has got his third. Enough to put a player off balance, though, Ed, when his feet are off the ground, that's for sure. Absolutely. It was nice timing all round. Here's Hill. Has a kick towards a goal. Very good kick towards a goal. Yeah. Don't tell me Lloyd's... He's doing acrobatics now. Goal number four. I think it's one for Lloyd. Oh, what an effort. That is a fair effort. Was it, it was Lloyd, wasn't it? Well, we'll have a look. Uh, the, the director's gone for Hill, but I think Lloyd might have got a foot on this. Oh, Lloyd, undoubtedly Lloyd. He's oh, claimed oh. it anyway. <laughs> Hang on, let's have a look here. What at stake here for the sweep as well. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, oh, just below the knee. Spend on that later, Mercedes. Bolton, doing it nicely, the Bombers. Jacobs, got a piece of it. Through the middle of the ground, Ramanaskis takes them on. Evasive skills, brilliant. Kick to the advantage of Barnard, won't get there quietly. Gathers it inside the boundary line. Shrugs the tackle, they don't argue. He can now run to the open goal. Barnard's got his first. The Bombers have got seven. Mansfield lines it up, he'll need to go hard. Salmon's there. Did well, Mansfield, to bring the ball to the ground. Look at that, Lucas. Talk about reinvented Gary across half back. Found the intended target through the middle of the ground in Hunt. Hunt to Masidi. Just about winning the hard ball. Behind the play, Lucas was brilliant. Masidi from 55, Lloyd won out. How has that happened? Oh, Brian, with it. Which is nothing against Livingston. Lloyd has kicked four, two in this quarter. This will make it goal number five. He does it. Lloyd, three in the quarter, five for the day. Matthew Lloyd, 12th possession, five goals, two. Not a bad afternoon, boys. 
fair afternoon's work and still plenty of free to be played. Coming down to the last 30 seconds of the half, McVeigh to Lucas, who's gone forward. He wants to kick a goal. He still likes him, the defender now. He handles over the top. Inside uh, 25 seconds, Harvey kicks to the hot spot. Up they go. Oh, that was a dangerous punch. We'll come to Lucas. Look at this. Kicks the goal. And that was a shocker from Young Spawn. To get the ball from where it is now, up to the other end. Beaumont in the middle. Shark by Mercedes gives the handball off to Jason Johnson. He lines it up from 40 metres out directly in front. I think he may have nailed it. He has got his first Jason Johnson. First of the third quarter for the Bombers. Fletcher hands it off to Franchina, who kicks inside the 50. But out comes the Bombers, Fletcher. And he decides to go for a gallop. Very nicely. The big striding Dustin Fletcher straight down the middle. One bounce, and the kick was very efficient, finding Harvey. He plays on, shot, goal. Beautiful play, Bombers. Harvey's got his first. Speed coming through. He couldn't control it, though. Peveril, nabbed from behind. Plunkett just didn't have the leg speed to go. And Lucas nailed him. Umpire will pay the advantage here and allow Wellman to continue with the ball. Rightly so out wide. He finds Bolton. And you just get the feeling now that Carlton have decided that it is the last game of the year and not a lot to be gained either. Fletcher, Wiggins, Livingston, handball straight to the Bombers Hill. From 50 metres out, Salmon marks. With a previous kick of Shane Harvey, the one that he tried the nine iron uh, back about two minutes ago. Carlton have had 15. That, that's an average of just five a quarter inside their 450. Salmon goal would put the Bombers 64 points up at the 23-minute mark of the third quarter. He comes in, and he's pretty happy with a 64-point lead to the Bombers. This is the curtain on Carlton for season 2002. They'll end up with the ball and the wooden spoon, their first ever in their illustrious history. But they'll rebuild and come again in season 2003. Wayne Britton, obviously disappointed.